The best vegetarian meal I've had this year is in um, Murano in London's Mayfair. That's Angela Hartnett, who's a uh, prodigy of Gordon Ramsay. That's a Michelin-style restaurant which has the most divine vegetarian food I've had. I'm at my normal body weight of 70 kilos, which I'm hoping to maintain it over the next few weeks. One of my fellow travellers isn't too much into vegetarian cuisine, isn't too much into wine. He prefers meat and beer. So we shall have to work with that. Not eating meat is felt to be quite unusual here and odd and almost a peasant way of living is though you can't afford it. I'm vegetarian because I'm brought up to be vegetarian. So my father's a Hindu and brought me up to be vegetarian and I could eat anything I want to now, but I don't want to eat anything, uh, any meat, fish or poultry. I just want to eat vegetables. My favourite meals out are ones which I call pushing the boat out and swimming after it meals. And those are the ones which start off with champagne, work through white wine, red wine, and end up on dessert wine. We had the pleasure of going to Pure Lotus last night, a Chinese Beijing vegetarian restaurant, which has been referenced. I'd looked it up, and uh, another of the travelling group had found it, and I'd seen it in the book, and it was going to be a highlight. So we booked that, and we we're fortunate enough to. Um, uh, be taken there by somebody who lives in Beijing who had been there before and recommended it also. This restaurant like, is in a off a street. You, one would find it very difficult to find. It's just hidden away in a sh compound almost, which is, quite, which is quite unusual. Makes it a bit more special to find, to be able to go there. It was a bit of a way from the hotel. We walked in, the menus were magnificent. The best menus I've ever seen in a restaurant. A drinks menu and a um, food menu. Just beautiful menus they were. It was very peaceful there. It's been a, had a busy day and surrounded by lots of people. It was very peaceful. It was a beautiful light display at our table next to us. And it wasn't clear to me what it really meant that this menu was, but it became quite revelatory because this was a, and as I were told by our host, this was vegetarian food, but in the style of meat. And um, I have to admit, one of my absolute problems of being vegetarian is eating things which are like meat. I just don't like that. It's not the point. It's not what it's about for me. I don't want to eat meat. So yesterday was pretty tough. And um, interestingly tough from the fact of an immense pressure that I felt at the beginning of the meal, having to eat this in company and um, really not wanting to do it. And the biggest problem with it was the texture, not the flavour, the texture of the food was the thing that got me. Um, very unusual, not used to it at all, not had it bef before and presumably, presumably it was a meat-like texture and my other diners all felt, um, oh it's like this or it tastes like that or it looks like that and I don't know what it tasted, looked like or felt like but um, I didn't like it. I mean some of the dishes were lovely and my fellow diners thoroughly enjoyed them but they are meat eaters and they found it I think interesting but um, as from an enjoyment of the meal, of the food, uh, there was only a couple of dishes which I really enjoyed, which 
in a Western vegetarian restaurant on a degustation vegetarian meal, I can eat everything. The coffee shop here doesn't open till nine in the morning and we're leaving at six. And that's, a, that's tough because we would all love a coffee at a six in the morning to get us on the road. I'll be pleasantly surprised if, uh, if I can find a nice flat white or latte on our trip over the next few days. We'll see.